Yeah, I think the the best route setting for me was in Moscow, where the boulders were the more the style that I like and uh, which I train the most and which is the closest to the road. So yeah. no dynoing and no not much slopers. I prefer rather crazy. Okay, I don't like so much technical things or some double dinos or something. So okay, so you 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 rather stay close to the to real rock yeah. climbing. Yeah. yeah, you're not a plastic kid who does no. uh, plastic tricks. I hate it the most. The second problem in the finals in Vienna. That was just too hard dinos. And it wasn't even so much exciting for the audience, I think. No. Because nobody couldn't do the dino. Yeah. I like quite the slabs. And oh, okay. the slab in Greifense on the second problem in the finals was really good. I liked it a lot. Okay. As someone who's been to all the World Cups, I thought it might be interesting to put a little clip together what the competitors thought of the route setting of the Boulder World Cup 2010. The perfect way to do this would have been if, say, Adam talks about the slap at Greifensee to edit it right next to Adam's um, statement. That would have been very cool, but a lot more work for me. And um, I'm afraid you have to watch our Boulder World Cup 2010 reports to look into the uh, problems. Very often the, uh, the problems the competitors talk about are featured in those reports. <laughs> so I don't like US because uh, not good for me, but um, Vienna and the Munich I like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like number four. Okay. Problem number four I like. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I don't like number one. Number one, not. I don't like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For me personally, I think the best route setting was in Eindhoven in Holland, because it was a really diverse route setting and it was really funny to climb there. Okay. And uh, the most memorable problem? M maybe also Eindhoven. I had some good problems this year, but Eindhoven it was a really far jump, dynamic body movement, everything out of control, and I like this way of climbing. Ah, number four in the finals. Number four in, in the Eindhoven. finals. But ah, there yeah. were a couple of good boulders this year. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think Eindhoven and Vienna. Okay. I really enjoyed them. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I think so too. The quarterly and the semi-final was was quite good for this competition. Like the okay. like different problems and it wasn't always the same. Like it wasn't only creams like in Russia for example, because in Russia we really had lots of creams. Yeah. And here it was pretty different. But then for the for the finals. Yeah. <laughs> I mean sorry, but two two girls did one problem and you have four problems, right? Yeah. So it should be possible. I mean I know it's a hard job, but sorry. Uh, Sheffield. Sheffield. Ah, d'accord. Ah, super. Okay. In Sheffield, oui? in final, the uh, one second boulder, when we must to jump ah. the, the holds, and also in the, in semi final, the second boulder when we must uh, uh, put uh, the knee. Yeah. And then, so this. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it, but it was uh, so uh, um, uh, physical move. Very, uh, I, I don't say in English. Physique. The movement was very très très physique. Très physique. Oui. It was uh, plutôt gauche droite. It was not very original. D'accord. It was very physique. It was a movement very hard. But for me, I liked the field. It's very original and very different. That's cool. So you, you prefer really the, the playful aspect of the boulders? You like playful uh, problems yeah. that are a little bit... Uh, yes. Okay, super. Okay. Eindhoven. Eindhoven. Super. And weil the sprung in the Sandor, den er nicht nur der Kruder and... Der Daniel Woods. Der Daniel Woods geschafft haben, ja. Ah, cool. For I'm very sorry about that, that the route setting for a woman during the whole season is not really good, sometimes really worse, because um, they, they have not the possibility in the final to, to show their abilities, to, sh to have a great show. For example, here in Munich, just two climbers did at least one top, so the crowd of the audience 
they can enjoy only one time. And this is, for me, not a, a good way to represent in this sport. It's, it's room to improvement there. Uh, there's many improvements, and I think, in my opinion, there's not a slightest doubt that um, the root setters, not always, but in general, I think, yeah, so I'm not 100% sure they really know their responsibility about this sport, these uh, competitors, and also for the audience and for all people who are here. I don't think so. I like uh, Eindhoven. Yeah. Uh, so technical and friction. Good. Yeah. Okay. I like uh, Eindhoven the world. Yeah. The root setting that I like the best is probably Vienna and Eindhoven. Both had really good root setting in all the rounds. Um, I wasn't very fond of the root setting in Moscow. I don't have a favorite problem. No? I don't and think so. Something memorable. that kept you alive and uh, away, maybe. You know, but something you should have done and but didn't for some. There are many problems I should have done. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, most memorable problem would be our third problem in Greifensee, the slab, in semi-finals, because it's the only reason that I made finals. Doing that got me into finals. Um, for the root setting I preferred uh, Eindhoven, Vienna and Vail. Um, but Vail was quite different from the other ones because um, yeah, the style was different, it was more jugs and athletic moves. Yeah. But you still like it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know one particular problem, but I think the borders in Eindhoven, I didn't, uh, in Moscow, I didn't like them so much. Um, the one which I liked the most was probably the first one, the last one in Eindhoven's finals. Um, one with really um, big volumes. Yeah. Even if I didn't do this. Yeah. Cool. In this season of World Cup, I had three finals, so. I, I can't speak about a lot of <laughs> settings in the finals. But no, do no, you mean only in the si fi finals, everything. Everything. Oh, yeah, everything. Yeah. Oh. Otherwise, um, here it was also good. Maybe just um, the finals, um, final boulders were a little bit too hard. But I say that uh, also this can be good for the climbers that they can progress in, in the um, evolution of the strength and the technique and everything. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, um, well, no. I I liked Moscow, yeah. Yeah. And also, what was Eindhoven and and Sheffield? Yeah, Sheffield was also good. Yeah, I like um I like when when boulders are very um that they have a, a lot of things um in the root chattering, like uh, strength, uh, technique, you have to be, you have to think a lot, you yeah. know. The variety, something you think, ah, oh, I should have done, or something that, that was just really cool to climb. Yeah, it was um, in Sheffield, um, the second boulder in the finals. Um, I, I actually uh, reached the top, but um, when later guys uh, went to try it, <laughs> it was, I, I did really hard way to, to climb it, um, but then they, they tried it and they just like step like, you yeah. know, <laughs> yeah. and I said, okay. <laughs> For me as a climber, um, the Rusetini, which I prefer, is what uh, Manu Hasler is Rusetini. Who? Who? Manny Hasler? Yeah. The Swiss guy? Yeah, in, in, in Vail, for example. In Vail, uh, in Greifensee. Yeah. Uh, not all the boulder, but I do like the style of the boulder he do with it. Yeah. For me, this is actually the same. As a climber, I do want to climb in the more. When I do, when I when I look at the boulder he roots at, I want to climb in it. After about the way it's working for ranking and for World Cup, uh, it's quite different. Some, I mean, you can see here in Munich. Really, for me, I don't like the side, but it goes okay. It works. So I mean, it's it's totally subjective. Yeah, I don't like this side. Yeah, but it do work, so it is okay. 
the end of the competition it has to be a result that uh, is fair and that the audience uh, uh, especially that the competitors understand and that the audience understands but I think that's not enough that, that was enough in, in past years but now we have to think a little bit further as a root setter you are shaping our sport and uh, you if you go tiny crimps you prefer a certain kind of body style you prefer a lighter weight uh, climbers a real light so Eindhoven every event every ball has different holds so slopey crimps dinos everything and maybe sometimes this season they use too many crimps too many screw ones too, too aggressive the Eindhoven is really varied and you really have to move. It's not oh, so yeah. much context, strength, it's, it's movement. Movement. Yeah. But not, not just movement. Power you have to do. Yeah. Technique. Everything. And that was yeah. a really good event. Really good. Cool. Like, <clears throat> Sheffield was also very good. I don't know. I like Eindhoven. This was the best for me. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. It was good to watch the finals, even if I was not there. Yeah. I didn't like these last uh, semi-finals. <laughs> It was really boring to climb. This this time, yeah, New Munich. Munich. Yeah. I didn't like them. Okay. My style is more like Moscow and here in Munich. It's like more vertical like Russian or style, huh? yeah, like Russian style. The boulders. Yeah, yeah you it's like little, this the most. A little more technical, a little, little more vertical, but uh, also I don't know uh, in Swiss and. Other competitions, they were nice because I like that yeah. the, the boulders, they are different. So, I like different boulders. But like for climbing, I enjoy climbing all the different stuff. Okay. It seems that in Russia, uh, uh, in the Czech Republic, uh, Slovenia, uh, the tendency is more to emulate rock on plastic. The root setting in Vail has been the most, most interesting one. It was powerful, but at the same time it was interesting just to, just to, to make the technical things. And, um, yeah, and then the second best competition yeah, in the point of view of the root setting was maybe Eindhoven. Eindhoven, yeah. Das ist schwer zu sagen. Also super war sicher Eintopfen und Wien, würde ich sagen. Ja. Nein, was ist das schwer zu sagen? Es gibt einfach so viele verschiedene. Und wir dann einfach immer springen, deshalb ist für mich sicher Sprung gewesen. Okay. Uh, Eintopfen turned out best. Yes. Okay. I was hoping that everybody has some problem that maybe you you had dreams about nightmares <laughs> or, or sweet dreams. It's not one that pops into my mind. No, no. not single pro problem. Oh, you you have a blank, right? Yes. <laughs> What's your name? Blank again. Eindhoven. Cool. And that was the problem. English. And that's the this. Yeah, Eindhoven. The most memorable problem. The problem you remember the most it can be for, for uh, Moscow, but the shittiest problems. Uh, okay, <laughs> really? <laughs> nah, we does nah. Eigentlich ist schwer für mich. Ja. Also die besten Polen waren in Greifensee und Wien meiner Meinung nach. Alka war ziemlich lässig, aber Wien und Greifensee haben wir ziemlich gut getaugt. Gefuchst, gefuchst hat mir ein Tofen. <laughs> Immer geht's beim letzten Zug runtergeflogen und da ist der Peter. War das so, dass du, hattest du da so eine Serie am letzten Zug? Ja, da hattest du eine Serie. Letzter Zug hat leider nicht fürs Halbfinale gereicht. Ziemlich enttäuschend. Und da, äh, lag das am roten Bau? Nein, ja, ich weiß nicht. Das nötige Glück hat gefehlt, aber am roten Bau denke ich lag's nicht. Ja, also in Greifensee da in der Halbfinale der Sprung. Der war ziemlich lässig und schwer. Und in Wien war auch ein ziemlich cooler Sprung. Boulder noch beim letzten Halbfinal Boulder. Und so mit Aufleger und Slopers, ziemlich cool. Mm, no, with the competition that worked out the best was it's not nationalistic, but it was Eindhoven. Yeah. For the yeah, for the final, for sure it was the well the best final of the year. Hm. Bester Routenbau ist ähm, Wien und Eindhoven. There is an idea in the IFSC 
to maybe have a um, team of root setters that do all the world camps during one year. And the idea behind that is that um, you, you know the competitors better as a root setter and therefore you can pinpoint uh, your problems much better than if you are uh, just doing it for one uh, competition per year. Um, personally, I like the diversity of the present uh, situation. Ja, für mich äh, Eindhoven. Fand ich cool. Okay, und das schönste Problem oder das Problem, an das du dich am liebsten erinnerst oder an das du die meisten Erinnerungen hast, diese Saison? Ah, oh. Ich komme jetzt spontan nur an den Quali Boulder in München, den fünften erinnern. Also ganz spontan, weil die anderen haben schon vergessen. Okay. Der war so hart, den habe ich ja geschafft irgendwie. Du hast, du hast diese Fähigkeit des Kurzzeitgedächtnisses. Ja, äh, da. Also Langzeit. Was war denn da? For the future, it will be very important uh, that the root setters are aware that it's not only the result on this day that counts, but also a further perspective on where, where the sport is going. Uh, for the season of uh, 2010 was missing a bit that girls could really show off and show uh, what they're capable of. I hope that helps the discussion for future root setting and cheers. <laughs>